you were first. Then you know.
When it comes to right and wrong, you can no longer straddle the fence. When you know something's wrong, just give it some distance. See, all these wrong actions you need to let go, just like someone who does not build you up, you should no longer follow. But you should also know that if you want to do better, first you have to think better. It's time to be more optimistic and let your faith, dreams, and beliefs grow stronger because without it, better is something that you will never get. See, what I'm trying to say is, if you want better, first and foremost, before anything else, you have to think better. And if you decide to start having better thoughts, I can promise you better will fall out the sky like raindrops. And if you decide today to think better, just know the result will be a better tomorrow. Yes, I, I see better on the uprising. Thank you all, thank you all. Glad you enjoyed it. Um, this next piece, and which will be my last piece, um, again, just trying to decide which pieces to do um, in a short period of time. Um, but this is from my activist chapter. Um, you know, we, we've all seen stuff on the news about, you know, equality not being in existence. Um, you know, Black Lives Matter, all the things that have happened over the years. Um, but this piece is titled Enough Problems, and I hope that you all enjoy it. Enough Problems. Have we not had enough terrorists? Killing us. Gangs and cops killing us. Us killing us. And now we have kids killing kids, and just the sound of it sounds so stupid. Have we not had enough marching for women's rights, marching for civil rights, marching for gay rights? And now we march for our schools because our schools aren't right. Yes, the security is not tight. See, we have problems hiding in the darkness, and now I just want to bring them into the light. Have we not had enough kids having kids? Kids underage drinking, and as bad as these problems may be, we have kids dying, and these are problems that they will never have the chance to see. See, we're quick to point the finger. The government points to the gun, and the gun points to the trigger finger. But I'm not here to say who's to blame. I just want to say, have we not had enough? Because to me, honestly, it feels like we've had too much. Again, you all can follow me at C.A. Williams. I do work with me. You can buy me on the property. Different sizes. Also on Amazon. Frizzy, again, thanks for putting this together. Man, I appreciate you. Appreciate you. One more time for C.A. Williams. Good work, man. Of course, we still got time. Uh, if you do want to run back around and do something again after the break, of course, we'll take a little break. Because sometimes you got to break up this stuff so that we can breathe. I have a mentor that talks talk about poetry and say, this is what you got to do with poetry. You got to treat it like wine, right? You got a glass of wine, you take it, you swear it around, you sniff it, you smell it right, you take it and you put it in your mouth and you drink on it and then you swear it around your mouth and then you spit it out. Don't you take this home, don't you keep this with you. This is not what this is supposed to do, but this is just basically supposed to give you some knowledge, some consciousness, whatever it is that it does to impact your life and keep things going. But again, Thank you, C.A. Williams. The book is called Different Different Sides. Different Sides can be found with him right now or online with Amazon. Amazon. The question can be followed on Instagram, social media, when you get it out. C.A. Williams Poet. C.A. Williams Poet. There it is, there it is. Y'all, how y'all feeling out here? Yeah. Everybody yeah. good? Y'all ready for this next person that's gonna come up to this mic? Yeah. Yeah. Y'all snap it up and clap it up for. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> a Nubian, the writer, is in the building. Hey, hey. Peace and blessings. Thank 
this is a rebirth for me. I often say that my growth had been stunted for about 20 years. I had no voice. So this is the first time ever actually speaking amongst people and not being invisible. <coughs> so I thank you for being here and bear with me. I'm Ponda Kwan, the writer Kwan Nguyen, Trina Murphy, and I'm going to share with you a piece I wrote called Can't Explain. You have the right to be in your own imagination. All I could do was close my eyes and listen to the sweet honey of your voice. Your words and your actions draw me in. To love you, I have a choice. You are a lovely combination of pre-Mecca and post-Mecca outcomes. You feed me daily nutrients from my spirit, my mind, not telling me what or how I'm supposed to be, allowing the tepid breezes laced with Egyptian musk to propel me in the next shift of my inner awareness. In the scariest way, I'm fearless. Without strange liquid spirits being poured, poured into each other, we truly feel one another. Numbing agents, non-existent, for we heal each other. Nights of pleasure and laughter, tears I catch in a vial and place ever so lovingly upon the mantle of my forevers. As we step beyond the walls of sanctuary and arrows fly dipped in arsenic, you don't grab me and use me as a shield. You fall on a sword to protect me and give me right to move forward uninhibited. I need you to lift me for us. No more time to be stolen or wasted. What is the worth if we're not interconnected or interwoven? May our markers be etched, stating we did our best. And you know what? Shh. Side vision, visionary insight, out of my peripheral, I observe the landscape. When the sheets and giggles evaporate, flesh on flesh stops to stimulate. Muscle up, ensure spirits are in sync, at least tethered to a common knowing beyond mere belief. Your sunset is no different than my moon rising. Gravitational interaction, given wobble to Gaia, keeping the motions of her oceans. Life giver, seed stimulator, feeding, enhancing the known makes us greater. Reveal the unknown, unravel known fables, spiritual made secular, the stronghold deeper and wider. We need a regulator. Not one, nor two. This requires a legion. Spinning, spiral motions like it's hurricane season. Destroy, to rebuild. You know the math, the alphabet is supreme. Proven calculations. Remember, this is higher than mere belief. So pay no homage to sideshows. Dalliances grifting, tighten 
of your temple. This beautiful avatar is merely a rental. Bring ye the tithes to the storehouse and be ready to receive. The awakening is happening, not padding pockets of the greed. Understand what you will. Understand what you won't. Spin it and spin it on the swivel. What's your position in it all? Creator or court jester? Bed warmer for the bad? You already know where you're from and where you're at. Now how are you going to rise out of that?
So either one, Pondaquan or the right of Quan Nubian. Yeah. Can we find the book anywhere online as well? Yes, you can find it on Amazon, uh, Lulu.com, and Barnes and Noble. Yeah. Well, thank you for looping in. Y'all clap it up and shout out one more time. I'm the call, the movie, the writer, the unseen clown, all the beautiful things. <laughs> Definitely, of course. Yeah. Make that happen. We're going to keep things rocking and rolling. Everybody feel good? Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. So what do. When I say, how you feel, you got to say, I feel good. How you feel? I feel good. How you feel? Like James Brown. All right. All right. You feel like James Brown. I don't <laughs> so keep things rocking and rolling with this next person that said they feel good. Y'all snap it up and clap it up. Middle Tail Rangers in the building. I'm new with this. All right, but Okay. Uh, this is <laughs> I don't like you as the title. Have uh -oh. you ever loved someone more than you loved yourself? You knew they weren't good for you or anybody else? Have you ever craved someone so bad? You knew they shouldn't be in your existence, just been a fan? I know we never should have been, but we were. We had some good times, though we both can concur. Mm. I think I gave more of me than I should, but I wouldn't take it back even if I could. You were my lover and my best friend. Even after all you've done, I take you back again. Although I know you're no good, I'll start all over again with you if I could. I've tried to walk away multiple times, but couldn't because you control my heart and my mind. It's hard to believe now we're through. I'll always love, but I don't like you. Somebody about to get a shake. <laughs> okay, this is my next piece. But, uh, I, um, I no longer blame you, I blame me. See, I was blinded by our love causing me not to see. See, you spoon fed me your lies, I hate it right up. This led me to midnight cries, causing me to stay up. So you lied and cheated, you said you were sorry, only for the act to be repeated. How about a round of applause, or even a standing ovation? So you heard me more than one time, without more than one occasion. I said I was okay, but I'm not. I'm tired of a lukewarm relationship, I want hot. Need to walk away, but choose to stay. Should be tired of being like a dollar menu option. I want to be chosen like a baby at an adoption. Yet here I am, still here. Is this love or fear? Sometimes we allow misery to be a comfort zone. Is it fear or fear of losing you or being alone? Oh. Yeah. Good work. Differently. My 
mind wanders. Wondering if you even know how to love me. These feelings of frustration, they, they, whew, on the back. My mind wanders. Wondering if you even know how to love me. These feelings of frustration that run deeper than the ocean and you have not even seen the bottom. You see, there are depths of existence that you haven't even traveled and I'm aware which keeps bringing me to this conclusion why I even bother. You see, this limited time that we keep putting on these relationships, they start today. But they always end tomorrow. So I ask, do you even know how to love? You see, these depths take you on a journey past and through many things that have happened and it causes issues upon issues upon issues which mentally your mind cannot even fathom. So instead of taking the journey with me, you know they choose, you know, maybe we may not need to take that travel. Saying that we can continue on from here to visit back there does not even matter. So I ask, do you even know how? Love. You see, on a journey through these depths, things start to get a little bit ugly, and being aware of some things, these temperatures start to get a little muggy, hot, heated, and bothered from his story. You see, that even impacted the way that you know how to love me. So I ask, do you even know how to love me? You know what? What's Messed up is I already know the answer and it's that you don't. So the relationship that we keep dreaming of, baby, I won't sign up for these issues that are uncontrolled by you because you make that decision to not jump in the water. So I won't take whatever you call this thing any farther until you make that conscious decision to jump in the water. Exploring these depths that tore us apart. God is even abandoning our very own sons and daughters. That thing that destroyed the hope for a beautiful tomorrow and caused you to forget how to love. You see, I want you all to know that there is a fix. There's some things that we need not to forget. And if you're looking for it to happen real fast, I'm keen here to slow you down and say, it just does not happen that quick. But you need to remember how to love me. So creatively I ask, do you even know how? Y'all, we're going to take a break right here. This March stand up. Stretch your legs out. We'll give it about 10 minutes if you need something.